Hello, my name's Adrian Richards. I'm a plastic and cosmetic surgeon based in the United Kingdom and I'm the clinical director of Aurora Clinics. My background is uh, in general plastic surgery. I was a consultant in State Mandeville Hospital, which is a very well known plastic uh, surgery unit in the United uh, Kingdom, particularly famous for spinal uh, injuries and uh, burn surgery. And uh, I really specialised um, particularly in general plastic uh, surgery and uh, since uh, then have really focused uh, more on uh, breast surgery and facial surgery in the last few years. What we've done in this uh, series of videos is really develop a training program for you to really try and improve your minor surgical skills. So I know a lot of you are doing uh, minor surgery and I think you know, we can introduce some techniques such as deep dermal suturing which are really going to help your technique improve your results and make uh, the whole experience much better for the patients and produce better long-standing results. So we're going to go step by step in this uh, program. First of all, I'm going to be talking about lesions you should treat, lesions I think you probably shouldn't treat, a little bit about diagnosis, then I'm going to talk about the instruments I think you should be using. So I'm going to be talking about the needle holders, the forceps, how you hold them, how you use them, you know, really to achieve the best results. I'm then going to be talking about the type of sutures I think you should be using. And they're very sort of modern sutures now, such as monocryl and PDS, which again, each have individual characteristics and are used in different areas. So I'm going to be talking about you know, why you should be using these uh, different sutures, the indications uh, for using uh, different ones, and a little bit of discussion about the various options available for you. Then I'm going to be talking about procedures. So I'm going to be talking about when you do an incisional biopsy, when you might choose to do an excisional biopsy, and I'm going to be talking about the technique of each of those. I'm going to be also going to be talking you through individual techniques, such as curatage of superficial lesions, such as seborrheic keratosis and intradermal nevi, and I'm going to be showing you the instrumentation that I use for that, and I think will be really good for you. We then talk about in a separate video about local anaesthetics, which ones you should use, the toxic doses, you know, and how I advise that you administer the local anaesthetics, how by using very fine needles you can make the whole experience much more comfortable for the patient, and also achieve hemostasis, hydrodissection in some cases, to help you remove the uh, lesion. Um, so when we're talking all about sort of local anaesthetics. The aim of the video series is really to be very, very practical. I'm then going to be talking about other techniques such as um, you know, removing sebaceous cysts from the scalp and from the torso. I'm going to be talking about little tricks I've used to try and help you remove the uh, cysts um, complete. I'm also going to be talking about histology, which lesions you should send for histology, which ones perhaps you don't need to, and little um, hints about the histology, how you orientate your specimen. All very, very practical things. I'm then going to be talking a little bit about uh, the uh, technique I use for excising more major lesions on the torso and in particularly about how you use deep intradermal uh, sutures to support your wound and really um, prevent it widening and hissing. Each of these procedures is going to be illustrated in a short video in which I'm going to be taking you step by step through each procedure. There's also a podcast uh, version uh, available if you would prefer just purely to have uh, the uh, in information in an audio format um, which you can listen to on your iPod you know, at the gym or in the car. I'm also going to be talking a little bit about complications, how you manage those, the difference between hypertrophic and keloid scarring and we're going to be talking about aftercare, when you remove the stitches, why you remove the stitches at that point, how you remove the stitches, really to try and give the best um, results for your patients. And then finally we're going to go into more advanced techniques such as local flaps, so if you haven't got enough um, soft tissue sort of laxity in the area, how you can move tissue in from uh, separate areas to reconstruct the defect. So in summary, what we're aiming to do is take you step by step through minor surgery, the techniques which I think you need to improve, really make your surgery as effective as possible and enjoyable for both for you and give as good result as possible for the patient. I hope you enjoy the video series. We'd love any feedback uh, on it and you can always reach me 
via my email address or by ringing Aurora Clinics and there'll always be someone available to discuss uh, any issues uh, you may have and if uh, necessary they can put you in contact with me and I can give you advice on the best way forward.